طيب ذيس از بقى كارديو الجايد لاينز الكارديو اونكولوجي بارت 3 ذا ثيرد اند ذا لاست بارت اوف ذا جايد لاينز هاو تو اورجانيز كارديو فاسكولار مونيتورنج ديورنج كانسر تريتمنت هو وين اند هاو ذا سيم سلايدز to remind you that in the first lecture we, to, uh, we spoke about the cancer related definition cardiovascular toxicities and how to risk stratify our patients in part two we talked about the diagnosis and management of the cardiovascular toxicity uh, the different types and in this lecture actually we will talk about this part prevention of cardiovascular complication uh, during cancer therapy and how to monitor our patients In this lecture, we will uh, have an introduction, uh, some general principles, uh, the primary prevention strategies, the secondary prevention strategies, uh, the cardiovascular surveillance, uh, how to be done, and finally, each protocol, how to follow up the cardiovascular toxicity for this protocol. So for the introduction, um, the cancer, uh, the chemotherapy-related cardiovascular toxicity, the risk may vary according to the cancer type and stage, the anti-cancer drugs and the underlying comorbidities in the patient, and certain therapy combinations like drug-drug interactions or drug-radiation combinations may have synergistic toxic effect on the heart uh, depending on the timing of these therapies, sequential or concomitant with previous comorbidities. After 10 minutes, the lecture will be finished. Type. Cardiovascular disease and uh, cancer uh, share uh, common modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Um, cancer increase with aging. Uh, there are some genetics that are involved in both. The medical uh, cardiovascular risk factor, uh, the sedentary lifestyle risk factors, and the previous cardiovascular disease. What are the general principles for the prevention and for the monitoring of our patients? The first step is whenever a patient is diagnosed with cancer, and even if not, to optimize the lifestyle cardiovascular risk factors. He has to stop smoking. If he drinks alcohol and it's a must, he has to restrict the alcohol consumption to a maximum of 100 gram per week. He has to maintain adequate physical activity. And we correct and intensify treatment for the arterial hypertension, the diabetes, and the dyslipidemia. Special attention should be paid to the polypharmacy. Uh, our cancer patient, and if he is old, he could have a lot of drugs for his hypertension, for his diabetes, for his dyslipidemia. In addition to the protective drugs with the cancer, in addition to the chemotherapy, this is a polypharmacy. Uh, these drugs, first, they may interfere with the cancer therapies to the essential, uh, so essential and active monitoring of their cardiovascular side effects and drug-drug interactions. Also, it's very important to monitor the electrolyte imbalances, such as the hypokalemia and the hypomagnesemia. And uh, I, uh, oncologists do uh, regular labs before each cycle. What are the primary preventive strategies? Uh, from the word the primary, these patients have no cardiovascular disease. So primary prevention, and they have uh, cardiovascular toxicity, meaning chemotherapy related, to avoid or minimize the development of cardiovascular damage uh, cardiovascular disease. Uh, guidelines for the primary prevention uh, mentioned two items. The first is the anthracyclines, and the second is the radiation induced. So the primary prevention of cancer therapy uh, related cardiovascular toxicity during anthracycline chemotherapy in Amelus day. Uh, for the anthracyclines, we have a cardiologist perspective and we have an oncologist perspective. These are trials uh, for the use of, uh, in patients receiving anthracyclines and they do not have cardiovascular disease. And we will try to give them RAS blockers and beta blockers and check the effect on the outcomes. So the neurohormonal therapies, car, uh, RAS blockers and beta blockers, Uh, during the anthracycline chemotherapy with or without trastuzumab, trastuzumab the lower HER2, the lower can bardo be amyl cardiac dysfunction, reduce the risk of significant left ventricular ejection uh, fraction decline during the follow-up in several small randomized control trials. 
ففي الترايلز اللي عينين اللي ما عندهمش كارديو فاسكولار ديزيز واديناهم نيورو هرمونال بلوكرز از بريفنتيف ثيرابي قبل ما ياخدوا الانتروسايكلينز او الهير 2 كان قلل انه يحصل سيجنيفيكانت ديكلاين في الاجكشن فراكشن ودي بقى ميتا اناليسيز ريسنت انكلودينج البيشنتس اللي عندهم كانسر تريتد ويذ انثروسايكلين كيموثيرابي اند هير 2 تارجتد ثيرابيز الميتا اناليسيز دي كلها ريبورتد ذات الراس بلوكرز البيتا بلوكرز والام ار ايز هاف سيجنيفيكانت بينيفيت ان بريفنتينج ليفت فينتيكولار اجكشن فراكشن ريدكشن ولكن there was no statistical difference في the incidence of clinical heart failure or clinical outcomes can demonstrate it. Just the number of the ejection fraction اللي <clears throat> well, explanation can in the Mozambi trials they included patients and whom low baseline uh, risk in the home get uh, cardiac dysfunction, and therefore we need larger randomized control trials for the high risk populations. This is the primary prevention from decline in the ejection fraction due to anthracyclines from cardiologist point of view. What about from the oncologist point of view? If you remember in the previous lecture, we talked about in the anthracycline a drug is dexa, uh, dexrazoxan. Uh, dexrazoxan, the drug uh, protective, uh, anthracyclines. And it should be used if the anthracyclines and they are at high risk of developing uh, cancer related therapy cardiac dysfunction. Also, uh, if you remember, we, the liposomal anthracyclines uh, reduce the risk to develop uh, anthracycline related uh, cardiac dysfunction. Where in clinical practice, the El Gora beta dextrazoxan. بنديهم لمين؟ بنديهم للبيشنتس اللي هم سكادول تو ريسيف ا هاي توتال كاميلاتيف دوز اوف انثروسايكلين او عيانين هياخدوا انثروسايكلين اند دي هاف هاي اور فيري هاي ريسك كانسر ثيرابي ريليتد كاردياك ديسفانكشن ودي السلايدز من الليكتشر اللي فاتت اللي كنا بنشرح فيها الديكسوكسان بيشتغل ازاي ولو احنا مصممين نكمل على الانثروسايكلين يبقى والعيان جاله كاردياك ديسفانكشن يبقى هنمينيمايز الدوز وحن سويتش تو لايبوزومال وحنستخدم الدواء البروتكتيف اجينست الانثروسايكلينز ودي كانت الريكومنديشن كانت كلاس تو بي فور ذا لايبوزومال اند ديكسترازوكسان اذا بيشنت ريسيف انثروسايكلين اند هاز انثروسايكلين ثيرابي ريليتد كاردياك ديسفانكشن الديكسترازوكسان شود بي كونسيدرد بقى في الادلت بيشنت ويز كانسر ات هاي اند فيري هاي ريسك فور كارديو فاسكولار توكسيسيتي When anthracycline chemotherapy is indicated, uh, liposomal anthracycline should be considered uh, class 2A. Uh, ACE uh, or ARB or beta blockers recommended for heart failure should be considered for primary prevention, class 2A. For ionine, a high or very high risk, allowed anthracyclines or anti HER2 uh, therapy. ACE or ARB or beta blocker recommended uh, for high or very high risk, allowed targeted cancer therapy. With statins should be considered for primary prevention in adult patients with cancer at high and very high cardiovascular toxicity. علشان نكونكلود الحتة دي ال anthracyclines from the cardiologist point of view لو هما high or very high risk نديهم ACE أو ARBs ومعها beta blockers. والنقطة التانية لو إحنا مصممين على anthracyclines ولاين جالهم cardiac dysfunction أو ما جالهمش بس هما at high risk إنهم يجيلهم cardiac dysfunction. يبقى نحاول نقلل الدوز ونستخدم اللايبوزومال فورم وندي البروتكتيف دراج ديكسترا زوكسان. ذا سكند توبيك اوف برايمري بريفنشن ذا جايد لاينز توكد اباوت كان الراديشن ثيرابي بس ما كانش فيه كلام كتير. There are no proven medical therapies to prevent radiation therapy induced cardiovascular toxicity. بالرغم انه there are a lot of machines uh, to try to make the cardiovascular uh, radi the radiation therapy localized to the cancer site. One component of the radiation therapy induced the cardiovascular toxicity is accelerating the pre-existing coronary artery disease and therefore tight control of the cardiovascular risk factors is uh, recommended. Uh, in patients where uh, radiation therapy uh, only has controlling role and the risk uh, of radiation therapy induced the cardiovascular injury is very high, uh, 
مالتي ديسيبلينري ابروتش از نيدد يعني لو هيعمل مشكله ومصممين عليه يبقى نعمل مالتي ديسيبلينري ابروتش نشوف مين اهم راديو ثيرابي ولا الكانس ولا الـ ولا الـ نوقف السكندري بريفنشن في السكندري بريفنشن الجايد لاينز ما قالتش حاجه غير ان احنا نمانج الكارديو فاسكولار ديزيز اللي عند البيشنت اكوردنج تو ذا ابليكابل Uh, ASC uh, guidelines before, before, during, and after the cancer therapy. Uh, the cardiovascular surveillance uh, during the cancer therapies, زي ما هنشوف في كل protocols اللي جاية على الأدوية اللي جاية, هنعملو one of two methods: the cardiac serum biomarkers, سواء كانت troponin أو natriuretic peptides. Well, cardiac imaging, بالذات transthoracic echo, وممكن نزود عليه the strain ونشوف the global longitude and the strain reduced ولا لا أو ممكن the CMR. We will stop here علشان ال ال zoom هيقطع وهنخش تاني على نفس اللي.